The Simplicity of Cozy by Melissa Alvarez. It has eight chapters. There's a preface. Oh, no, sorry. Before it starts, it has a list of the exercises, two per chapter, and it says these are the exercises that's going to be done in each chapter. It's just the title of the exercise. It talks about in like the first part, like the first main part, it will have like the word and like what country it comes from, different cultural ideas of like cozy, like uh, glumulikite and a few other things like from like Germany, Japan, like Scandinavia area, a few other places. Uh, the energy of coziness, making a place for your own. So, like making your whole house cozy and just like, even if you can't have your whole house, just having like, say a room or like, weekend kind of thing like a cozy lifestyle like cherish more kind of thing self-care work-life balance kind of thing so there is a little talk of like minimalism but it's not the focus of the book where uh, the cozy life, the cozy lifestyle, is its own thing to be done. So there's other things like embrace silence, aware of now. There can be similarities between, like, say, minimalism and this, and a few other topics that have been coming up recently like huga and a few other things and a few other aspects of different cultures in their sense of like this cozy minimalist kind of thing and so and there's this uh, the bringing in of spiritual and self-growth so like different things to do in her life to bring those things and like the cozy lifestyle to bring into your life. So different aspects of yourself and your world. So, and there was one like sentence that like almost like threw me off guard when I read this. So under appreciate the arts, the second paragraph, if you're someone who enjoys history, science, or are mechanically minded, then you may say the arts aren't for you. Excuse me. Just because you are, may fall under one of those three categories. I like history. I like art. I like, it's. And then it goes, that's okay. You can apply what we're dusky, discussing to those fields as well. Being creative is part of part of feeling cozy. When you make something, whether it is a beautiful song on the piano or a unique intricate machine that is intriguing to watch, that creation is a part of you. Okay. I just found that odd and I slightly questioned it. Because... Yeah, what I saw studied in history, like what I studied in university was history. But I have the appreciation for the arts. I in like I was a good majority of my time in high school spent in music and like yeah, I did history 
the later part of my high school career and then which led into my university career, I still have the appreciation for arts. Like when I went to Halifax, half my half the time I went to museums or like walked around in nature and I just found that really odd. I like looked back onto that. So yeah, so that threw me off guard of, yeah, sure, there might be some people in those three fields that might not appreciate art or the arts, but you're disregarding all the whole other, a whole nother section of those groups that do like the arts, like myself. Like, I try and fi find a way to be creative in my own way. One being these, my videos. So, but, yeah. So, like, this book is informative. It does has, have its points, has its points. She, like, you can tell there was some research done, but explained in a way that it doesn't seem like textbook, textbooky or like information overload. So it is explained perfectly, but it may throw you off guard, like like that sentence did for me. So. I'm not, like, like, overall, it's a pretty nice book. It's just, <laughs> I just can't get over that line. That's just me anyway. So, The Simplicity of Cozy by Melissa Alvarez. Happy readings.